Hey, comic book community, I have another comic book haul for you. This time it's a mishmash of eBay and some travels and, and other uh, Instagram set, uh, purchases. So there's a, a whole lot of everything. There's Boom, there's Marvel, there's DC, there's Image, and some spec books, some PC books, and, and some runs. I, I picked up some chunks of, of, of runs that I'll go through towards the end. But let me just go through the hodgepodge and some, some cool books that I'm happy to have back into the collection, or in the collection, I should say. So Amazing Heroes 179, Todd McFarlane cover. We got Spider-Man. Uh, this is probably around the time of Spider-Man number one uh, from the early 90s. Really nice copy. Uh, this would be a fun one to get signed someday if, if he was ever doing a signing. I already have a, a couple books signed by McFarlane, but this would be a fun one. Also picked up uh, another copy of Strange Tales 179. This was an Instagram purchase. Both of those were. Uh, this is the first appearance of Pip the Troll. It is Jim Starlin. It is Warlock at his finest. I just love this era of Adam Warlock. I was excited to pick this up for a decent price on eBay. Spider-Gwen 27, the the Putri variant, uh, the Phoenix, uh, uh, Phoenixized version. The thing is, it came to me on, inst on from the eBay purchase, and the bag was split. Like, who sent something like this? Uh, I had put this on my Instagram page and like just dumbfounded by the the bag, and and the book was in it, uh, but not really protected. Luckily, there was no damage. And someone said on Instagram that th that happens sometimes. This is, that's a first for me. I've never had a book split or a, a, a bag split, and it doesn't feel that cheap of that, like that cheap of a bag. Uh, I've been picking up some early issues of Wind, uh, especially uh, various printings. So I have Wind uh, 2, the second print. Also picked up issue number six. This is a store variant from, gosh, what is the store? Um, ECGCE. Uh, so whatever that store is, picked it up from. I thought it was just a kind of a cool, clean cover. I like the colors. Uh, really nice. Right before the profit fad and everyone like talking about profit, I picked these up for a dollar. Profit number one, the Todd McFarlane variant of it. And I picked up, uh, I think this might be the regular cover, but it's Jim Lee. This is probably my least favorite Jim Lee cover, but I picked it up because it is Jim Lee nonetheless. Uh, but the, this McFarlane cover I do like. And then I picked Profit one, uh, 21, the the Liefeld variant, which is his first issue in the new direction of the story. So I figured, pick this up. There's not many on eBay. And um, I'm glad I did, because when I went to Baltimore Comic Con, so I, I paid like maybe 20 bucks for this, shipped. Uh, at Baltimore, someone's trying to sell this for $75. Now granted, at Baltimore Comic Con, the prices were a little inflated for some of the booths. Uh, picked up Eternals. By the time I, I post this haul video, I will have seen Eternals, so we'll see if this was a good buy. This is the first appearance of the or first mention of the one above all. It's a book I've wanted for a while, so it's not necessarily because of the movie, but uh, depending on how the movie does, it could go either way, up or down in price. Another eBay purchase that also had a sucky bag was Once in Future number one, the third print. Got a decent uh, copy of that, very minimal wear. Also picked up Haunt number one. Uh, this is actually, I've had this for a while back, but I finally found it in my closet and wanted to show that off. For a dollar, I picked up the final issue of Pit number 19. Awful cover. Uh, picked this up uh, for just about cover price. The second printing of issue number one of the Secret Wars miniseries Infinity Gauntlet. Why not? Second printing. Was happy to pick up from an Instagram seller a, a, an assortment of the Grim Hunt storyline from Amazing Spider-Man. So 637, this is where, uh, gosh, is it Jessica Drew or another um, Spider-Woman becomes Madam Web. So uh, this is what, where she does that. It's got a killer cover uh, as well, but picked up that one, 636 variant cover, 634 and 635. So most of that storyline. And these are covers I did not have. Uh, from a store that was out of town when I was visiting my sister, I picked up for anywhere from cover price to five or six dollars. I picked up a bunch of different books. So Amazing Spider-Man 641, One Moment in Time, which a lot of people were looking at, and this has got the negative space uh, regular cover for six bucks. The first, second appearance of Spider-Gwen and, and the first of the Spider-Verse storyline. Uh, picked that up. That's Spider-Man number nine. 
Picked up Spider-Man number 10, which has an animated Miles cover. Found two Werewolf by Nights, number one. This was a dollar in a dollar bin at one store. Mm -hmm. And this was about four fifty in another store. So this was all the rage because of first appearances uh, and first issues. Uh, that was all the rage when I picked these up back in September. And so I'm just now filming this. These have been sitting on my floor uh, and I haven't had a chance to, to get around. I really like this cover of Werewolf by Night number eight, the Chris Plug variant. Uh, and uh, just had to pick it up. I have a bunch of Werewolf by Nights that I picked up during the state sale haul back in June. So that fits in nicely. It's not one that I had there. For $18, I bought this. I think this is a good deal. Thor 148, the first appearance of The Wrecker. Really nice copy, complete, not discolored, no chipping. I just think uh, for $18, that was a steal. For $4.50, I picked up uh, Captain America 14. This is the Sam Wilson series, kind of an iconic cover, especially as he continues to be uh, the Captain America figure in the MCU. Uh, Chris, Chris Bacallo variant covers on New Avengers. New Avengers 54 and 53, which is, uh, this is my second copy, and this is where uh, Brother Voodoo becomes the Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, and here's a regular copy of that. I picked this up for 425 and 54. So I got the regular copy set and the variants. I really like this cover. Uh, it is What If, number 104. Looks like the Impossible Man has the Infinity Gauntlet. I've never found this uh, in the bins, but for six bucks, Morbius, number one. This is also in the height of the Kang uh, craziness. We got a cool Alex Ross cover for Avengers number two. So pick that up for like, what was it, five bucks? And then the, let's see. Oh, okay, let's see. Picked up Noble Causes 37 for a dollar. It's got some Invincible on it with his blue suit and Champion 16, which is, uh, I think, a first appearance in there. So the next uh, grouping of books, the final two groupings of books are uh, Invincible books and Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur books. So Fair warning if those aren't your jam that uh, you can go on to another video, but I'm going to show off uh, these two sets that I was able to pick up for anywhere between three bucks and five bucks each. So uh, Invincible 115, we got a Battle Beast cover, a uh, really cool uh, Thrag cover on Invincible 120, all bloodied in there. That was sort of Invincible's hallmark, Invincible 128, Invincible 130. One, 131, uh, 130, Invincible 136, cool Adam Eve cover, Invincible 137, an Unremarkable Mark's Mom's cover, 140, 143, and these are all right around the time when the series is ending, 141. 134, out of order here. So I liked the storyline as the reboot storyline and 126. Got to revisit some of the old old storylines. 125, another cool cover. 123. And the last Invincible is 121, and I like this robot versus the Immortal Man cover. Last but not least, my Moon Girl books, and I kind of binged on these while out of town. There was great deals. I haven't been able to find them locally, and as I was looking through the bins and seeing the covers, I was like, these are pretty cool covers. I kind of want to buy these just for cover buys, uh, and you know, if, if I ever get the whole series, I'll sit down and read. There's, a, there's some stuff going on in the MCU, at least Disney Plus, that are showing these, um, that are going to be having a series, I believe, so I don't know much about it. I wasn't really buying these necessarily to spec, but uh, they do seem to have some interest in the, the secondary market. So I, I picked up number two and then realized it is the second printing. I have the first printing, so it's nice to have um, both right now. I do have issue number one. Uh, this is number three. Number four. Number six. Number seven. And again, these were all 
$3 to $5 each. I don't think I paid more than $5 for one of these books. And the cover price was four bucks. Number eight, I picked up two copies of number nine, first appearance of Kid Cree uh, at two different stores. And they were $3 and $4.25. Uh, number 10 with uh, Miss Marvel on the cover. This was cool. I kept on picking this up uh, between $3 and $5 each. Four copies of number 15. This is the uh, first uh, interaction with Riri Williams, Ironheart. So why not? There's a lot of spec happening with Riri. And there's a lot of people that buy these first first connections, like crossovers or what have you. So, so that was pretty cool. And now the next comes where the cover buys really come into play for me. So Moon Girl 16, cool Doctor Strange cover. 17, which is an awesome X-Men cover. 20, it's this Girl Moon and Moon Girl. 21, cool cover. Like this one, 24. 26 with the Lifebringer Galactus, 34, the first Devon, uh, and I bought this for like, gosh, $3. It's not price, so it was $3. 41, we got Sleepwalker, another nostalgic favorite of mine. 42, which is, I believe, the Gold Goblin, maybe? One of the goblins? 44. And because I couldn't find it, I went to eBay, and last but not least, I picked it up 47, the final issue, uh, and I got a pretty decent deal on eBay. So, so that's the haul. I've had these books lying around. I'm glad to finally show them off. I can put them away. I can read them. I can do whatever I need. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More haul videos coming, more deals and you know, trying to be found in the community. Hopefully you're having some success finding what you're hunting for. And uh, let me know what you are looking for. Put that down in the, in the chat. I'd love to, to, to hear uh, what is on your hunt list. So uh, you know what's on my hunt list, obviously. You're seeing that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.